this is one of the issues that I need to get sorted. Um, it's basically, I can't even find it now, the old button came out, it just, it just fell out. Uh, and my dad got a new button for it, but there must be something inside the unit uh, that stops you from clipping it in because that's the same. So I have ordered a new one of these, um, second hand on eBay, anything from 40, 60 pounds up to 100 pounds. I got one brand new, uh, obviously non OEM for 13 pounds 90 including delivery so we'll see what that's like right, here's the unit i got off of ebay that was pretty it maybe doesn't feel quite as uh robust as the original one but um, it looks all right so first thing we need to do is this unit here needs to come out so we'll get that out um, that comes out complete with this um, where the send slides over the top I think this needs to come out as well um, actually no that stays in I think this this bit comes out separate and then there's just some torx screws that go into these four holes here um, but we'll give it a go before uh, i put it all back together right so let's use the trim tools i'm not really sure which one is going to be best for getting this out so you don't want to use anything sharp. I'm going to get the screwdriver behind there just to give me a bit more leverage. Now the problem is here, I've still got the tape stuck to it, I should have probably opened that, taken that off rather, first. I need cleaning up, okay, so we can just put that to the side. Now it looks like we've got these torque screws here, so let me just go and get my Torx drivers. I'll take these off. Now, this whole unit lifts up. And I did see a video 
with this is quite difficult because you need to get it get your fingers in to unplug it so that you can then lift it up and turn it to get it past the gear stick. Came undone anyway. I'm not sure why they make this cable so short here, but it does. Oh, it does pump. Okay, right. So if you pull that, put that in the right place, it gives you a bit more space. Just see if that is working. That's plugged in. Auto hold, I'm not sure. Might need to check that when I'm driving. So that's that's okay. Um, just need to now take these uh, four little uh, screws off, I guess. Um, transfer this over. So take that off, um, transfer it over, and then we can put it back together. Okay, there's the new one all back in place. So first things first. Just to plug it in. Just check that it still works. and then yeah so I'm going to put these four screws back in uh, and then we can just clip that back on and then hopefully it'll all be okay there we go that's, uh, that's a lot better and uh, Obviously, when I give it a drive, uh, I'm not going to drive it quite yet, but next time I give it a drive, I'll try out that auto hold, uh, make sure that works. But uh, just to give it a go, close the door so we don't end up with the lights flashing. We put the ignition on. Wait for the lights to go out. And obviously, turn it off. Okay, and turn it on, and the light comes on again.